Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to install Jupyter Notebooks on your computer. If you do this correctly, you will be able to use the notebooks without needing the internet. So the first step is to install Anaconda. So we will show you where to download Anaconda and how to install. And the links for this are on the Facebook page we have made, Myanmar Hydrogeophysics Society. So there is a link here, link to download Anaconda. So we will click the link. It should take you to a page that looks like this. Uh, if the link does not work for some reason, then you can type download Anaconda to search, and it should be the first link which shows up. And on this page, you can go to the download, and it will take you to the same page. So if the link does not work, you can, you can search for this. We see that there are two options. We want 3.7 version, and we can download 64-bit or 32-bit. So you need a different version for different uh, computers. And so we want to check this. So to check which version you should use on your computer, we will search our computer. And we can type the words operating system. And so operating system. And this will tell us about our, our PC, our computer. Uh, we may also type 64-bit or 32-bit. This would be another way to search. And it will take you to this page. So we'll, we read some of the things. We look for uh, system type. And my computer is 64-bit operating system. So system type, 64-bit operating system. So I will download the 64-bit version. So uh, this will take a few minutes. <clears throat> OK, so we can see in the bottom corner the download has just completed. This took about 10 minutes, so I, I paused the video while it was downloading. And we can click this button here to start the installer program. Uh, you can also find this uh, in your, your downloads folder. So I could look in my my downloads folder and I could see the installer uh, is on my computer so I click next and I agree and I will choose to install for all users this just means that if more than one person uh, has a password for this computer everyone can use the anaconda So I will agree that it can uh, be downloaded. And now I need to choose a place for the program to go. And the computer is smart, and it will pick a good place, uh, usually C, Program Data, Anaconda 3. And if you have not tried to install Anaconda before, your computer is clean, and you click Next, it will start to download. But if you get an error or a problem like this that says this, this place is not empty, it is because you have tried to install Anaconda before. So we need to delete uh, all of the previous Anaconda you have on your computer so that we, we down, when we install, we have one version and the computer will not be confused. So one trick that you can use to find this folder, uh, if you have things inside, is to select 
right click and copy. You open up your computer's uh, folder, any folder, and you click this and you right click and you paste. And if I press enter, I go to the place uh, that I pasted. So we can see there is Anaconda 3 here. We have things inside, so we need to get rid of these things. So this step, we would look in Windows and just look for uninstall. Uninstall a program. And we tried to find Anaconda. So now we will uninstall Anaconda. This is the folder where it was, where it lives. And now it says it has been uninstalled. And now that we have uninstalled, we need to check to make sure that everything uh, we had in that folder is gone. So I go back to here, and in program data, I still have things inside this folder. So I am going to delete the folder. <clears throat> this may take a little bit of time. So now I do not see Anaconda 3 in program data. So I should be able to download Anaconda now. So we will save in program data Anaconda 3. And we are going to add Anaconda to the system path environment variables. This just means that it will make your uh, computer able to find Anaconda uh, very easily. So depending on how fast your computer is, uh, this may take a few minutes, this could take maybe 20 or 30 minutes, and so uh, we will just need to be patient. The download has now completed. And we will unclick these so that we do not get messages. So now, Anaconda 3 is on your computer. We can check this by typing Anaconda, and we see that programs that are part of Anaconda are now on your computer. So we have finished the first step. We have installed Anaconda, and now we need to move to the next step, which is to get Simpeg. So this is a, a library that gives uh, special programming abilities and will let us use these notebooks. So I will go through um, how you would get this on your computer. So we have Anaconda, and we need to open the Anaconda prompt. And we do this by searching for Anaconda. And we see Anaconda prompt. And we will right click and we will run as administrator. And now to do the uh, to get the simpeg, we will type conda install minus c um, 
Conda Forge Label Beta minus C Conda Forge Simpeg. So I will leave this on the screen for a few moments so that you can write this down. And when we have the command, we will press enter. Uh, this can take some time. So it will ask you if you would like this program to make changes to your anaconda, and you will say yes. And it will give you all of the packages that you need to use our Jupyter Notebooks. You will need an internet connection to do this part because it is installing things from the internet. So it is now completed. So now the download is complete. So we have done this step. We have installed Simpeg. And now we would like to get the Jupyter Notebooks. So we have a link for this on the Facebook web page. So the link for the folder containing Jupyter Notebooks. And if we click this link, it will download a zip folder containing the notebooks. If this link does not work, we can search for this on the internet and we will use this URL. So you can pause the video and type this in. And it will take us to this web page. We click download a clone or download. And we press download zip. So the link in the Facebook page does this for you automatically. But if the link is broken for any reason, you would come here and do this. So this download has gone into my downloads folder and I will need to uh, extract or unzip the file. And now I choose a home for it. So I will maybe put this in documents. I will put it in a place uh, that I can find it. And now if I try to find the folder, it, it is here. So I can see that I have uh, downloaded and unzipped all of the files. So one thing to remember is these are just files. And so if you ever uh, make mistakes or you, you delete files or there is new notebooks that are made, you can just download this again and uh, delete the old folder and put the new folder uh, somewhere and have all of the latest things. So now that we, uh, we have everything, it is time you learn to start the notebooks on your computer. And to do this, we need to uh, start the Anaconda prompt again. And we will run as administrator or you don't have to, it is fine. And we need to be in the place where our notebooks have been put. So here is notebooks. Here are all of the notebooks. And so I will teach you a trick. You can click here and you can copy. And we will use the command CD, which is change directory. 
and when we click with the right button on our mouse or the, on the keyboard, it will paste here. And we press enter, and we see now that we are in a different place in the computer. So I will show you, we can see all of these files. I just put a command that says, tell me all of the files in the place that I am. And you notice it is the same files as the notebooks. So we are in the place where all the notebooks are. And uh, to launch the notebooks, you will type Jupyter Notebook. So Jupyter Notebook and press Enter. And it will bring you to the same screen that you used for any of the binders. So maybe we will test one of these uh, notebooks to make sure that everything has been installed properly. Uh, maybe we want to uh, do the, oh, I don't know, the parametric inversion. So I run the cell, and there was no error when I ran this cell, which means it found everything. And then we can go through and do the things that we had in class. So the notebook runs. So that, uh, that should be the end. Uh, if you can do these steps correctly, you will be able to use these notebooks. You will not need the internet to run these notebooks if this is set up. So this will be very useful to do in the field where maybe you don't have access to the internet.